how is it for you guys to do a movie about a uh, drummer that is like he's lost in his year and how is it for you to win this award between a, a little a, a crazy pandemic it's I don't know what to say. It's uh, I'm extremely grateful and honored. It's it's um, we never expected anything like this at all. This is a pure love and passion project. We did it before the pandemic. We finished. We went into the pandemic ourselves. We struggled in my country, in Denmark as well, and everywhere else in the world. But then it came out and it resonates because. There's something about me being at home and suddenly seeing a film about someone losing a sense and going into acceptance of something that resonates. And that whole feeling of not being able just to do what you want to do, be able to travel or be able to go to work or you have to be home or all these things, it just... I don't know. It, it it was very powerful suddenly to see the film during these times. Because this is such a audiovisual film, like it, specifically audio based, uh, hence the sound inside the metal. Um, how did you approach the editing, considering considering that fact? So. When I was approached, the director told me that he wanted to give uh, a deaf person the feeling of a whole, to be able to see the f movie as a whole, and I, as a hearing person, would feel like a minority. I absolutely love that idea. Um, he, he brought in the whole aspect of using the sound as storytelling, meaning that you can go the into the internal and the external world of uh, Ruben, your main character, from a first perspective. And that goes with uh, the whole idea of never be ahead of your main character. Always be with your main character. Be with Ruben. And then play around with the feeling of information. How much information does Ruben know? How much information do we know? And as long as we, sti we stick with that. That's an editorial choice. That's... Uh, the power of storytelling and sound, because sound is that physical feeling that suddenly you make it, feel it in your stomach, and it was just mind blowing to be able to work on such an amazing project for me.